Hi everyone, as Chairman of BABS, it is my pleasure to award two of our members with the prestigious title of Barbershopper of the Year, awarded to those who deserve national recognition for their contribution to their club, or indeed the association as a whole, in 2020. For the first time this year, we are awarding two Barbershopper of the Year awards. The Joe Berry Young Barbershopper of the Year Award for BABS members aged 25 and under, and the John Grant National Barbershopper of the Year Award for any BABS member. I'm pleased to say that we were bombarded with nominations for these two awards, and with 2020 being as challenging as it was, it was absolutely wonderful to read every single one of the nominations. Seeing the efforts that people have gone through to keep Barbershop alive and kicking last year was heartwarming to say the least, and served as a timely and inspirational reminder as to what makes Barbershop so great. When we say it's the harmony that makes the difference, we don't just mean harmony in a musical sense. We mean it in the sense of people working together to make the world a better place. And we saw that in every single nomination that we received. I would like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to everyone who was nominated. The Board of Trustees discussed all of the nominations at length, and this year the decisions were particularly difficult to make, thanks to the outstanding contributions of so many. That being said, after much deliberation, we have settled on two individuals who embody the spirit of BABS as an organisation. So, first of all, the Joe Berry Young Barbershopper of the Year Award. This award is named in memory of Joe Berry, an exceptional young barbershopper who we sadly lost in February 2020 whilst on active service in Afghanistan with the British Army. By giving this award, we remember Joe's lasting impression on Barbershop as we recognise those who display similar qualities to Joe. Altruistic service, a spirit of good fellowship, the love of Barbershop, resilience and commitment. This award goes to someone who has been a shining light of positivity, using their infectious energy and enthusiasm to keep morale up through these tough times. Despite only discovering Barbershop in September 2019, they have quickly become extremely active within our community of young barbershoppers, always kind, always supportive, and regularly setting up opportunities for collaboration and networking, such as organising watch parties for Barbershop livestream events. I am sure we have all enjoyed Manchester University Barbershop Singers virtual chorus videos in 2020, which have received international acclaim. As chair of MUBS, the recipient has been the driving force behind their activities this year, serving not only as their chair, but also as their diversity and inclusivity officer, demonstrating their passion for bringing the barbershop experience to as many people as possible. Accordingly, we are thrilled to name Devi Joshi as our 2020 Joe Berry Young Barbershopper of the Year. Huge congratulations, Devi. And now to the John Grant National Barbershopper of the Year Award. This award is named in memory of John Grant, a giant in British Barbershop who sadly passed away in March 2020. Over many years, John served the association in many ways, including as chairman, judge, coach, and most notably as a highly acclaimed chorus director. By giving this award, we remember John's love of Barbershop and his lasting legacy within BABS, as we recognise those who, due to a similar love of Barbershop, have made an impressive contribution to the association throughout 2020. This award goes to someone who has helped keep the spirit of Barbershop alive and kept us going through a challenging year. They are a dedicated member of Capital Chorus in West London and can be seen at most barbershop events, including conventions, harmony colleges, and even things like Babs AGMs, where they regularly have words of wisdom to share. Throughout the pandemic, many barbershoppers have excitedly awaited the latest release of the Harmony UK podcast, which shares the joy of barbershop harmony in Britain at an international level and does so with interesting trivia, interviews, and above all, heart. It is extremely well produced and really does highlight all that is good about Barbershop in the UK. We are therefore delighted to award the producer of the Harmony UK podcast, Babs member John Beasley, with the 2020 John Grant National Barbershopper of the Year Award. I wanted to share with you some of the words from John's nomination, uh, just to give you an insight into the lengths John goes to to produce the podcast. So here we go. John turns up partially sighted on his bike, bang on time and ready to roll. 
I had no idea he was going to arrive by bike, let alone that he was in an unfamiliar town on his own. I wouldn't dream of cycling from Reading Station to my home in any circumstance, but John does this all the time. Tomorrow he's off to Birmingham to interview Rod Butcher in a cafe because the city is in lockdown. Amazing. Imagine getting off a train in Birmingham and cycling to some venue somewhere to set up a microphone, interview a subject, and then cycling back to the station and getting the train home again. <laughs> John, we commend you for all of your work in sharing everything that is good about Barbershop through your podcast, completely off your own back and at your own expense. And to everyone else, if you aren't yet a listener, I wholeheartedly recommend that you become one. Thank you all and congratulations again to both Devi and John.